Putting up the down, down Put it down, put it down, put it down Let me tell you nice and up the down, down Right to the very end, yeah? Wicked, 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 wicked. Oh, dear. Well, time has come. Listen, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to mention one name of anybody. Because we're a whole. We don't need to mention one name for anything to thank everybody. All the DJs, MCs, um, all the people that used to come up on the roof and put aerials up. It's um keeping out of the way of the police. Um, Susie in the car or on the block, walkie talkie, keeping the lookout. Uh, everything coming up against other stations or other people with certain things like having to front them and let them know that this is our, our block you know things ain't happening you know we had to just face firearms knives police whatever um for years and years keeping out of the way none of us could really have our pictures or on, on um filmed or anything because especially me it must have thought I thought I was special. I said, no, don't take my picture, please, please. But it weren't. It's because my picture was about I'll be inside. I'll be nicked. Um, years went on and on. And um, we'd done the best we could. We had so much talent come through cool. And um, we really... We, when the scene was abandoned by a lot of people they abandoned us and everything was about it wasn't only music it was people of, of all different races creeds even classes we had different classes not just like working class kids or whatever all different classes along the way and um we was a movement man and we believed in it. We fought for each other. We looked after each other. And um, things progressed where we was this, this station. People thought we were legal, man. <laughs> they like, if we weren't on there, they're like, what are you, what are you doing? I'm like, it's hard. You know, they ring the phone, we'll have a chat with them, we'll explain, like, you know, we've got to get stuff together, make the wires up, get soldering, wake Smurf up at three in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Because Smurf was a vampire. <laughs> Smurf would like be out all night and sleep all day. And his feet stunk. He had the worst smelling feet in the world. Because <laughs> he'd always have a bedroom or a room next next to the studio. And um and, and it was amazing his feet, but it, Smurf was a great, great guy. And if it weren't for Smurf, none of this would have happened at all none of it because he come to me with the idea and it was born in it I approached my friends they was up for it so we just went ahead you know Sue supported me all these years and then if we got done for like a lot of people didn't realise that me and Sue never met through the rave scene we used to go over before that we've been together 34 years right and um about the dedication and love and support and belief because um I've always got a vision always got a vision and I just believed in that vision because people go oh, at first oh, you won't be here next year or you know and then we didn't even know ourselves at the beginning we didn't, we didn't really care because we're just playing music we're just being 
rude boys or whatever. We just did what we did. But after a year, we knew we were the bollocks. You know what I mean? And it's like no no one could come near us, man. From the first year, we we was just setting places afire, man. Seriously. Then on the third year birthday, we stopped all the traffic in the West End, right down from Astoria, right down to um, Picard, um Trafalgar Square. Five thousand people outside and three thousand inside of Astoria. Um, we couldn't believe it. We could not believe it. Every one of us, me too, all the cool family, every one of us, we were. And inside that night is the best vibes I've ever felt in any, any, any dance, especially jungle dance. That set it. All the artists were on form. By the end of night, you had 50 artists on the stage, drinking, smoking together, singing along, all the MCs performing, all the DJs were up there. In them days, people never come and done their set, man. They come for the whole night. They didn't turn up five minutes before their set, do their set, on their set, finish, gone. They was there all night long, right, with love and the people. It's an amazing 31 years, man. And me and Sue, we don't want to give this up. But the only way to take call forward, because we ain't got the money to pump into this to make it what it should be. Two years we've sort of stood still. It's, um, we don't like the station standing still. So to progress and carry on further and make the platform even bigger than what it is it needs it needs youthfulness and energy which I ain't got no more definitely not and it needs the money pumped in so that our DJs are proud to walk into a studio everything singing and dancing no worries about looking over their shoulder or this or that or the other it would be a great great thing me and Susie will still be behind the scenes for you know a couple of years or whatever um, guiding and advising doing the best we can you know um, everyone on the station won't be going straight over we don't know but um, certain people are certain people ain't but believe you me we've made sure the heart the foundation the music from hardcore jungle drum and bass everything is kept the format of court cool is kept well I'm talking too much you want to talk no. Oh no, no, I'm gonna part. I'm gonna. She's gonna no, talk. No, what? Well, yeah, I know. I'm getting it. You're gonna do that as well, Sue. There's no rush, you know. There's no rush at all. Because when we finish this, when we finish this chat, I'm gonna play one tune. What means a lot to call, and then I'm gonna not even hold the mic again. I'm gonna let the tune go, fade out all the way. I'm gonna turn the station off on the computer over there. And that's it for like a month at least. While the new team regroup and um, get cool on the next level. On the journey. It's a journey, man. If we're not here tomorrow, the station still be in 20 years time. And that's the main thing what we are worried about is the station being on for the future. Yeah. No, one tune, man. One tune. It's one tune, which means a lot. Yeah. Susie, come. come. No. You can. You can cry like me, you know, it don't matter. I'm a big boy. We've got to thank the listeners, you know, because the listeners, honestly, it's insane, our listeners, what they are. And every station says, oh, they don't even love their listeners, man. They don't care. A lot of stations out there don't give a shit about their listeners. And the heart and soul of any station is the listeners, because the love we've had. The dedication, the, the messengers, oh, that's it, standard. It's like from day one, it's unbelievable. And don't forget we're 31 years old. So some of them listeners who are now 50 have been listening from day one. 50, 60-year-olds and like 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 20-year-olds. It's amazing. And tonight has been hectic with the listeners and messages and Facebook and... Um, mixed cloud and all, all, all the formats to everything and the message we're getting is so much love from you all I really hope you stay true to call cool. keep on listening listen we're going to do the best 
to make it as it is the foundation and keep it going strong not diluting it all or whatever just so please we'll see you soon Susie Just thank you to all the DJs, all the MCs, and all the listeners. It's just been mad 31 years, but it's been so worth it. Thank you. All right, everyone. All right, so let me just play this last tune. Not going to touch the mic again. This is us out. There'll be a new, a new level call, next level in about a month's time so keep it locked in a couple of weeks all the social media and everything all the promos going on yeah cool listeners we love you yeah this is the information center the information center this is 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 the information center What's up?